mga kaibigan. Papunta na ako ngayon sa ating next na guest. Tingnan natin kung nandito siya. Ta-da! So now we are in Kathy Bersola's home. Thank you, Kathy, for having me. at napakaraming pwedeng tingnan dito. As you can see sa likod, ang collection ni Kathy. I wanted to talk a bit about the beginning. Like, how were you when you were kids? Siguro, if there's one adjective na pwede akong describe, it's competitive. <laughs> competitive? Everyone I knew from way back would say, so, competitive niya. As in, mate me sports, akads, Anything at all. Sobrang competitive. Like, playground games. Kahit ano pa yan. <laughs> May time nga. Nasa sobrang competitive ko. Nabalian ako ang dalawang race. We had the wave wow. board race sa neighborhood. Ako naghamon. Ako naghamon. Kasi alam kong mananalo ako. <laughs> Tapos, may lubak. Eh, sa sobrang bilis ko. Hindi ko na na-stop. So, pag ano ang lubak, na, nag-land ako on both my wrist. So, sabay na fracture. Early high school ata. So, aw, tong dalawang tao si na-cast like this. Kasi sabay silang wow. balik. Okay. Na ako competitive. Palagi mo, paano mo nakuha yung competitive streak mo? Was it because of upbringing? Was it because of your family? Bunso kasi ako. We're four. Laging siyempre bunso. Laging yung inaasar. Laging yung utusan. Laging inaaway, basically. High siblings. <laughs> pero ano, you wanna prove yourself? Nung yes, bata yes, ka yes. Kaya pinakabata, pero kaya mo rin yung kaya nila. Uh, so, dun siguro nagsimula. Nakaka-relate ako dyan. I grew up with older brothers eh. And for the longest time before I got my sisters, ako yung bunso. So, kahit sila, katabi na nila yung baso or something. Diba? You have to go all the way to the other side. Yeah. Because you're the designated bunso. So, you were like that ever since. So, nag-excel ka rin sa academics ever yeah. since ba? Since or? preschool. Wow! Since preschool! <laughs> talagang overachiever na. Playground competitive pa rin. <laughs> napasukan yung sports? My family, athletic naman. My dad was track and field. Mm-hmm. My mom played volleyball. And, uh, pero hindi naman competitive. Like, until high school. And then nung college, nag-stop na siya. Uh, yung brothers ko, basketball. Yung sister ko, volleyball. Then everyone was just athletic. Like, we'd play bowling on the weekends. Na-expose ako maaga sa ganun ko. I mean, none of them were like, what I experienced na training every day. Walang ganun. Walang competitive. No? Like, more of recreational. It's also, we watched a lot of NBA. <laughs> And yeah, the actually next start basketball yung una kong kinahigigan kasi ah, Kobe first love. Yeah. Yes, and you will see all her <laughs> Kobe paraphernalia <laughs> later. Basketball first love mo. Yeah. So, so did you decide to try out for basketball first? Did you play basketball first? Um, or the on volleyball. There weren't really any opportunities to play basketball for girls no back now. Kasi my school didn't have a, a girls team. So I just Played with my kuyas. Kapag sumasama lang ako, pangilarus ka, or played 2K mm-hmm. with them, or watched NBA. So, wala talaga opportunity. I only got to play basketball competitively. Third year high school na ako. Pero I was already playing volleyball ng time doon na yun. In trams, ganyan. Sa school. Ayun, right? May legendary streak ako doon. Sabi nila. Kasi, I played basketball and volleyball nung third year and fourth year. Kasi doon lang nagkaroon ng basketball. So, yung back-to-back double MVP ng wow. basketball and volleyball. Like, okay. Wala ko nakagawa nun. Siyempre, first time ka basketball, diba? So, yun, parang legendary daw yun. I would believe so. Back to back, double MVP. I don't, I don't hear that every day, ah. Kung pwede na sa UAP mag-basketball din habang... Nung, actually, I considered for a while. Pero wow. hindi pwede. Sabi ni coach, no. <laughs> Diyan ka lang. <laughs> Focus lang sa body. Because we had a lot of pre-season in this day. So, hindi uh, na ako pwede kumalit. Ginawa ko na lang. Nung internship ko, nung fifth year, dun ako sa women's basketball na ginawa. It looks like you had a fun high school and college. Yes, very much. So, paano mo na, naman naisipan na, okay, gusto ko maging doctor? Oh, I've known that since grade school. Wala kasi yung doctor sa family na or any, anything mm-hmm. related sa medical field. Parang, pinasa ko lang nung parents ko sa utang na baka gusto mong mag-doctor. From then, parang, oh, 
that would be cool. Pero nung time na yun, early on, wala pang specific. But then, dahil kay Kobe, when I first watched NBA, I was 8 years old, I think. Sabi ko, gusto ko maging doctor ni Kobe. And then oh, later oh, on, parang alam ako na, ah, mga sports doctor, pwede yung Oracle. Uh, then, dito sa Philippines, more of Oracle yung better. Parang, okay, I wanna go into Oracle ever since. Parang yun na talaga yung gusto ko. So, kailangan pala natin pasalamatan <laughs> si Kobe. Thank you. For Cathy's future. That's why I also took sports science. As in, it was really my first choice. As in, sa upat form, first choice, sports science. And ako lang, sa batch, buong batch ko, ako lang yun ang sulat mo. Everyone was either second choice or went into the world program. Yes. It was only me na ng sports science talaga na as in, I want this. Kasi, gusto ko mag-orto, gusto ko mag-sports uh-huh. night, and it made sense. Ever since gusto mong maging doktor, and you studied about it when you were in college, feeling mo nakatulong ba yan sa pagiging atleta mo, or even vice versa? Yeah, for sure. Uh, everyone says naman na, the values you learn in sports can be applied to life. Kasama yun, kasi yun yung, yung competitiveness. <laughs> Sama na natin yun. <laughs> Pero I apply that into yung work ethic ko. Mm-hmm. So, how I work in my sport is the same way I work in my study. Like Mambo mentality. Uh, yung discipline, for sure. Pagka pinagsama mo sila, you learn how to prioritize, manage your time. Mm-hmm. Uh, for sure, lahat ng mga natututun mo sa sport, I applied to everything else in my life. Sa studies mo naman, kasi you're studying basically physiology and biology and how, how you're moved. So, kung may baba yung pananaw mo on how you would tackle the sport or like how you would do your laterals or how yes. you Yes, sobra, ball. sobra, sobra. Uh, nung, syempre nung later part na nung college, kasi first year, second year, yung mga mostly minor subjects naman, di ba? Mm-hmm. But when I got to my majors, parang, I saw how training should be. Like, internationally, this is how they do it. This is the science behind it. And ganun yung isip ko eh. It's more scientific. Doon ko na-apply to my training. Mula nung time na I talk to my coaches a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, our conditioning coach, our head coach. Kasi we also learned about the sport itself eh. I took mm-hmm. electives in volleyball. Not because I wanted to learn volleyball, because I wanted to really learn it. As in the science behind it. How to coach, okay. how to referee, how to train a volleyball athlete. Work wonders. Especially nung anong med school, na mas focus na ako sa med. Pero I still brought what I learned from college. That's good. Kasi I had fewer time to train. Okay. So kailangan mas mas matalino yung pag-train, mas efficient than quantity talaga. Kasi sobrang matalaga kung tayo masyado ng med school. Now, minsan linalaro siya, minsan oh, hindi. That's true. Oh no. Nakwento mo kanina na uh, nasabi mo na injured ka, mm-hmm. diba? Anong nangyari doon? Uh, third year, season 77. We were playing a UAP game against Adamson. We had air collision, then le- leading to a bad landing. Uh, tore my ACL and MCLs left me uh, for the season. And it was really, really, really a hard time because we were just high. And yeah. who knows what would have happened if I didn't get injured. But of course, all in the past, no regrets naman afterwards. Because it was already gone the next season. It took me like eight months to recover. Uh, under underwent surgery mga siguro a week. The moment I learned na I had to go undergo surgery and had to be out for the season, sabi ko kay Doc, game na ako para hindi na agad ako kasi I wanna start my recovery right away. It took me eight months kasi we waited for my MCL to heal. I think after my, my rehab, that was my best shape. Wow. And, like, I felt super good about my knees, like, mm-hmm. walang fear, walang kahit ano, even after. This is what most people would ask me, and then hindi ko pinatakot mm-hmm. after mo may injury. Pero, with, with the kind of rehab I had, and my mentality nung time na yun, wala talaga. And that was really the best shape of my life. Galing ha, kasi ako, honestly, my brain, like, ito, this high pa lang, jumping off here scares scares the Mamba. <laughs> Mamba mentality. I should look that up. <laughs> Did you play professional? Technically semi-pro, but I still consider it professional. Same mm-hmm. one. So right after college, when I graduated, ko, I was going to go into med school. And then I recruited for club teams. I've been playing since then. I played for four years. Yeah. Like the whole, whole med school. How did you juggle the whole med and sports kasi may training pa yan not just like playing the actual game may, may training pa kayo 
Well, I was lucky na well, actually big factor to for the team I chose. Kailangan they take into consideration na nasa med school ako. Support ng ako ng agreement ko with them. And they were the only team that agreed. We agreed to train at night. So that's why I joined for last. Kasi yun yung agreement namin. We would train 5 onwards, 5 p.m. onwards. I'd be in school from 8 to 5. Going, five. To, going to training. Then, yeah, I get home, siguro na. And shower, dinner, tapos. I will conte kung may kailangan. Pero, I think what worked most was paying attention in class. You wouldn't have to repeat it, repeat okay. reading it afterwards. Sobrang camera ako. So, yung pinaka maximum na aral ko is kapag na exam. Okay. So, pag wala exam, medyo chill. Steady. Medyo chill. So, feeling mo mas nag excel ka once nasa crunch time or <laughs> nag cram yeah. ka. Meron <laughs> yeah, may, may ganun naman. May ganun. I love high pressure situations, especially in sports. Oh, <laughs> I yeah, those I last for those few moments. seconds yeah. na kailangan. Oh, wow. Kapag, kapag end game, I want to be there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hindi nyo nakikita ngayon, but over here, right? Right beside me, to my right, are all her trophies. And na pansit mo nata kalagay ni ba? Best blocker. Ay hindi pa nga pala all. Oh. Yeah, the hidden stash is at home. What have you been up to? Uh, mostly yeah, so studying yeah. and spending time with my family mm -hmm. and working out. Medyo nagdito and playing at least once a week. Uh, na kwento mo na hindi ka nagaaral sa labas. Yes. Yeah. So you stay here. here. Here, this is your little haven. I like being in my own bubble. Kapag nagaaral, I can't play music. I can't play anything when I'm studying. So I need a quiet environment to study. There's so much to see over here. Can we actually talk about that? Wait, punin ko lang to kasi kailangan yun talaga makita to. Okay, look at her collection right over here. Basically, mga ano lang to, trinkets from a lot of things. Itong Funko Pops, hindi naman ako avid collector, but pag may nakita ko nagugustuhan ko, I get it. Then some are gifts. Here are my jerseys, my favorite jerseys from college. This was season 78. I was captain and ito yung only time na nakapag-final four kami. <laughs> With Perlas, I think this was 2019 season. Ito yung nag-back-to-back. I'm best blocker ako for, for that whole year. So I'm a Netflix addict. Ako. Then, Her game room, look! <laughs> I have a Switch. I have a, an Xbox with Guitar Hero, my favorite game. Okay, and let's focus on the few trophies that you have here. These were from college. So this was UAAP, V-League. Then this was from the Athlete Scholar of the Year thing sa so UAP. Okay, I noticed you had a collection of magnets right over there. Purung purung oh. siya. I like traveling. So I get something from everywhere I go. Favorite place ko na napuntahan, Canada. Which leads me to this collection right over here. So you like shoes? <laughs> yeah, I love shoes. Uh, kung may bisyo ako, siguro sapatos na yun. They're more here. Uh, oh wow! Okay. Actually, itong mga to, yung mga pang everyday pa lang yan. So, yung mga nagagamit ko sa PGH and uh, playing shoes. But most of my other shoes nasa bahay, yung mga more expensive ones that I don't want to use in the hospital are at home. Welcome to my Whoa, room. How cozy! This is, this is my setup whenever I study at night. So, pink light, uh, maraming accent lights kasi, I don't know. I like lights. This is very unusual. I, you're the first person I know that likes studying with <laughs> pink lights. <laughs> Most of the people na mahal ko nandito sa board na to. So Polaroids and ano, mga letters, etc. Sentimental. It's nice. Very, Oy! Very. And speaking of, <laughs> another Mamba. College grad and Univ grad. When I have a summa cum laude. So this is your workstation right here. I noticed nga that the way you tackle your life, the way you tackle school, academics, and sports, you live by a very strict code. And with that, for you, what is power? What I learned from sports science, power is strength combined with speed, total knowledge, 
how powerful you are. Yung strength part, that's you fighting for what you believe in, fighting for what you know is right, and the speed part, doing whatever it takes to get there. Uh, I believe na someone is powerful when they fight, defy odds, like no matter how hard it is to get somewhere, that person will still find a way to get there. Wow! Well, it's the first time that er anyone has ever um, did an analogy on science. Magandang formula yon. Para siyang formula of champions. Meron ka bang pwedeng ubaya sa mga nakikinig ngayon that wanna do the same thing, wanna tackle the world, so to speak. I mean, not just with sports, but with academics also. Make sure that what you wanna do is what you love. From there, dun mo na mahuhugot natin. Eh. So that's how I tackle it. Nothing worth having comes easy, di ba? Sabi nila. Hindi mo naman pwedeng marating yung gusto mong marating ng by sitting around. And you have, really have to work for it. Hindi pwedeng maghihintay ka lang ng opportunities. You have to create them for yourself. Make sure that you have the right people around you. Good advice. Thank you very much for letting me into your home and letting me see all these knickknacks and a bit of your your life and your story. Salama. Sure. With me, once again, this is Kathy Bersola. So I'm Gabby De La Merced and this is Power. Power.